Okay, okay. All right, we're back. <laughs> uh, this week, I have another climbing video, another send. Um, this time, though, it is in the swamp, and that is the reason I have two guidebooks with me right here. Um, the swamp is kind of a, a peculiar area when it comes to a little bit of controversy from what I've read online. Um, but don't let that take away from how fantastic the area is for climbing. It's unbelievably amazing and the routes are, I think, fantastic. Um, there are some discrepancies between the two guidebooks on what the grades are and what the names are. Um, so the first guidebook I have here is the Ontario Rock Climbing, the best of Southern Ontario. This one's by Jesse Wong. Um, that's one of them. So it has uh, a section for the swamp in here. The second guidebook that I have is Ontario Climbing Volume 2, The Northern Scar Escarpment. And uh, this one is by Gus. Um, here we go with the Greek last name, Alexandro Polis. Alexandro Polis. <laughs> um, now, when it comes to my videos for the swamp, any sense that I have, I am going to be using the names and the grades from this guidebook. Uh, the reason being is that Gus is, wrote this guidebook along with um, a fellow named Justin. Um, but he's also the main developer and first ascensionist along with his wife of the area of the swamp. So I think it's only fair <laughs> that I use his, gra his grades and his route names. So we're gonna stick to this guidebook um, for any swamp uh, related climbs that I post, which is exactly what we're doing this week. Uh, this week I have um, someone new to the crew. His name is Chris uh, and he is an absolute awesome climber. Uh, we got the pleasure of heading out to the swamp with him the other day and did a, a bunch of climbs. Uh, but this one in particular, I was able to jug up a rope and kind of get close to the route to get some footage of it. Um, he hasn't climbed outdoors in, or he hasn't climbed in a while, but you wouldn't know it. <laughs> He's super strong. Um, so he made this on site of uh, Hammy Hamster 510A. Looks pretty breezy. <laughs> so I'm a little jealous about that. In the swamp, it's in the very first sector uh, when you get into, into that area called the Last Stand Wall. I would highly recommend it. It's got a bit of a pumpy start to it with an overhang. And then once you're over that, um, it gets a little bit more technical, but you have some good rest spots. Overall, fantastic climb. Guidebook has it as four stars. I would definitely agree. It's awesome. I've only gone on it a couple of times and worked some of the moves and it has pumped me out. <laughs> but for Chris, it seemed like it was kind of a breeze. So let's check him out on this climb and let's see what he's got. Let's go. All right. All right, climb one. That good? It was good, yeah. Go from right here. Um, so there's kind of one I could grab a little bit with my left, yeah. And then if you can get your legs higher, yeah. And then you just kind of sort of chin up. -y. I can get a little closer to the wall for you. There you go, exactly. And then right foot high. There you go, exactly. You see what you mean? Uh, Sorry about that. That's okay. We're good. All good. Thank you. No problem. I see what you mean though. It's like you know the move, but you gotta commit to it. Yeah. And then oh. when you get there, you're like, oh, this is good. Yeah, it's super good. But I was, uh, I was a little scared. Yeah, first up, I. Uh... Yeah. 
Okay. My legs are warm. Yeah. Oh, clip. Rusty. This is a little pumpy, right? Yeah, it is okay. actually. It, like, I'm glad to know it wasn't just me. No, I, I thought it. <laughs> I think it's just the way it looks from down there. Yeah. It looks like because it starts a bit overhung, so it looks like this is almost slab, but it's. Not quite as much. No. Okay. Feel great. Nice. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. Just into the master point. Yep. Okay, clip. Oh yeah. Uh, just, actually, I'll, I'll I'll push up and then you take up. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you. Found it. <laughs> All right. Uh, you left her in the painting, Chris. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching that incredible send by Chris on Hammy Hamster 510A. Like I said, awesome, awesome route. Uh, absolute pleasure if you're in the area, definitely do that one. Um, after the 40 minute hike in or so, that's kind of one of the first uh, great climbs that you hit on the way in. So well worth the climb. We've been on it a few times now um, with Chris. We went out with them. Uh, Jason from the previous episode, check it out right here if you want to see uh, Jason climb. And uh, Valerie's also gotten on and has been working that route as well. So I was able to capture some photos of her working some of the moves uh, the other day. She's super, super close. She's uh, worked it a few times now. I think she's been on it three or four times um, and super close to getting a send out of this one. Uh, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed for her on the next time we're out there that she gets the send in because it's fantastic climbing. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode. I hope to bring you a lot more uh, send videos as well as uh, some photos, some banging photos like I promised last time. So check out my Instagram if you want to see more from our outdoor adventures and some of my photography um, from up on the ropes. Handle is CW Climbing. Let's put it right there. <laughs> um, so check out that Instagram to see some more uh, pit photographs and maybe some video there as well. And then um, hopefully we're, we're not too far out from gyms reopening in Ontario. So keep your fingers crossed from that only a couple weeks out, I think. Um, so hopefully we'll have a lot more coming for you soon, including a jump back into the learning how to lead climb um, series. <laughs> Thank you guys again for watching this week. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you. <laughs> Ciao. Man, guys, only thing with the swamp, though, it is mosquito infested. Bring that bug spray. Bring it. You will need it. I am pretty recovered, but I have scars everywhere from all my scratching of my mosquito bites, my million thousand mosquito bites. Definitely bring bug spray. You will not regret. <clears throat>
and I'm out.